Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will learn about MVVM architecture in Jetpack Compose. We have already covered MVVM, so the concepts are the same in Jetpack Compose also. Only a few changes while writing the code. Still, let me give you a quick explanation about MVVM. So, MVVM stands for Model, View and View Model. The model consists of the data, the view displays the user interface, and view model acts as a bridge between view and model for communication purposes. Basically, the logic. Got it? It is recommended to use an architecture because the apps that are created using MVVM architecture, those apps logic and UI are separated from each other, which makes the apps easy to test, easy to maintain, and more organized. Now let's understand it through an example. So usually, MVVM examples are quite a big project which of course we will cover in upcoming videos. But for now, just to clear the basics, we will understand it through a simple example, okay? I'll be creating a counter app in which there will be a button and a counter text. So when you will click on that button, the count increments, simple. Now there will be two situations. In the first situation, we will create a counter app without using MVVM. And in the second situation, we will create the same app using MVVM. So let's see the first situation without using MVVM. First, let me remove the default code. And then, now create a composable function as counter. And then, make sure to call it here inside the set content. There will be no fancy UI or fancy code, just simple logic for the counter. How do we start? First, we need a variable that will increment or that will be a count value, right? So create a variable as count by remember whose mutable state of is zero. Import state get value and also press Alt plus enter to remove the error. I have already explained remember and state of in detail in one of my previous video. You can click on the i button to watch. But in short, I will say we add mutable state of and remember to those variables whose value are capable of change in future. So the count will increment means it will change in future. Hence, we have used mutable state of. Got it? Then a column layout. Inside it, a button whose on click will be count plus plus means whenever the button will be clicked the count will increment next the text that will be displayed on the button will click me and the last thing is to display the count through a text so create a text as the counter value with the dollar count variable this is where the count will be displayed and that's it our counter app is ready without using MVVM. Let's see how it works. Okay, if I click on click me button. Look, the count is incremented by 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Great. The app works perfectly fine. Then why is there a need of MVVM? I'll show you why. So if you rotate the screen, the count goes back to 0. That's not fair. Let's try again. So again, I increment the count. 3 and again I rotate the screen look it again went back to 0 now imagine the same situation with a game app like you have created a game app without using MVVM so you are playing a game and suddenly you rotate the screen and the entire game starts from the beginning awful right hence it is recommend to use an architecture like MVVM now let's see the second situation where we will create the same app using MVVM we will go step by step. Step number one, add a dependency. Here we have multiple types of dependency for view model. Go for view model compose. You have to simply copy and paste the dependency with its version. But I am using the latest version of Android Studio, Igona, where there is a concept of version catalog. So you can directly write the dependency this way. Clips library in which we have lifecycle view model compose. Got it? Click on sync now. And done. But if you face an issue, then add this both lines in version catalog and try again. Got 
Now, in step number two, we will going to modify the code. So, in MVVM, we have three components: model, view, and view model. Let's start with view model. So, I will create a separate Kotlin class for view model. I'll name it as my view model. Okay. Now, I have to inform the compiler that this class is a view model class. So, how do we do that? By extending the view model class. Then inside it, I will create a count variable and below it the logic. Then logic is the same only count plus plus, but inside a function named increment counter. And then let me explain. It's a very simple project, so we don't have any big database or something. Just a simple count variable that is our data, and that is our model also. And this logic is our view model. So the model and view model are done. Now what is remaining? View. So come to main activity. This button and text are our UI means our view. Now let's connect our view model with our view. So how do we do that? By calling my view model class here inside the counter function. And then, then as the data is moved to view model, hence remove this. And then logic is also moved to view model. So here instead we will call the logic function that is view model dot increment counter. And here the count variable from the view model. And then now let's run the app and see. Okay, so if I click on the button. The count is incrementing perfectly, but here is the real test. So when I rotate the screen and look at the count value as it is, again I'll increment and rotate, and perfect. The count value is still the same. Now consider the example of the game app. So if I close the game app or if I rotate the screen, the game won't restart. It is still going to be at the same place where you left off. And that's the beauty of MVVM. Lastly, as you saw, MVVM is the same for Jetpack Compose as it was for XML. Only a few changes here and there; otherwise, it's the same. Also, we will understand it better through a big project in the upcoming videos. So stay tuned for that. For now, that is it for the video. If you are new to this channel, then please consider subscribing to my channel, and I'll see you in the next video.